Lewis, here we are, one day left of pre-season testing. I guess the easiest question is, or maybe the most difficult question, how's it going? Uh, it's definitely tough out there, I think. Um, it's windy and uh, the wind changed around quite a bit today. But um, yeah, generally it's, it's, it's been tough. A very different looking car to the one that we had, or we saw you driving in Barcelona. Has that changed very much in yeah, terms of the car, its drivability, the way you need to drive it in any way? The, the wind or the... No, the, the, the new package that you're running this, this week. Uh, the package is very, very similar. It's just... Um, yeah, what can I say? I think it's just really that being that it's, it's the wind, it's the bouncing that we, we have, we still have that this week, if anything is a bit worse. Um, so we're just working through lots of different scenarios, trying to figure out how to uh, hold on to the downforce and not have it bouncing as, 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 it, as, as it was uh, in the last test. And now that you're seeing everyone, I think everyone's probably in a similar boat. Some have managed to uh, utilize uh, or, or get around it in a better way. Um, but it's just, it's difficult out there. It's bumpy, it's slippery, it's sand, it's in the, in the, in the morning, it's way too hot. And um, yeah, and in the afternoon, it's just gusty, so. It looks difficult to drive out there, particularly as you say, over the bumps that, that are naturally here on the circuit anyway, but also because of the natural tendencies of these, these new cars. How difficult is it behind the wheel? Yeah, it's tough at the moment. It's, uh, I mean, you can see on the onboards, tank slappers left right and center so you're uh, and then bump, bouncing and bumping and uh, it's, it's uh, yeah <laughs> it's not quite happy uh, at the moment but we're trying to tame it you do obviously have that have that very new looking car for this week a big development on what we saw in Barcelona are, are you having to start afresh in any way are, are you behind the curve because you've had to start with this new car well, the, this week the, the, the car definitely is uh, different to the last last week but it's just I think it's more so the, the tires working with these temperatures are different here. So um, it's a different machine this weekend, but I don't think it's the change that we've made. I think so much great work has gone into creating this upgrade, um, but it's just uh, hurdles that we're coming across with this new kind of car uh, that we're, we're, everyone's facing in 2022. So, um, But I'm confident in, in the team here and back of the factory that will figure it out, but it's definitely not going to be a, a smooth road. You do still have the last day of testing, obviously days of, of practice and qualifying for the Bahrain Grand Prix, but if it was the Grand Prix tomorrow, let's say for the sake of argument, whereabouts do you think you'd be sitting? I really don't know. Um, I think Ferrari, if to, for what I can see if today, Ferrari would probably be, be uh, probably getting a one-two or maybe Red Bull, you know, who knows. Uh, Carlos Sainz said earlier today he believes that you guys are still the, the team to beat. You're doing a, a typical Mercedes and not necessarily showing everything that you've got. How close are you holding your cards to your chest or is what you're showing very much the, the real pace that you have right now? Yeah, I mean, we'll be really, really, really good if we were like throwing, you know, having all these oversteer moments and having this tacky driving uh, just to, to hide our cards. <laughs> That's not the case. No, we, we definitely... We, we have things that we're trying to uh, get through. I think, as I said, others are struggling less, but um, yeah, who knows? We'll, maybe when we get to next week, we'll have a better understanding.